For Veterans Day, I want to highlight Kurt Lee, Major Kurt Lee of the United States Marine Corps. I was inspired to do this episode watching the Smithsonian Channel. The series is called War Stories, and his episode is the first one, The Forgotten War. I was not ready for this episode. He did an interview in the Marine Corps Museum that just floored me. He did this in early 2000s, and you can still see he is still a Marine Corps officer. And that's what I love about the Marine Corps, is that once a Marine, always a Marine. And I relearned everything that makes a good officer, which is lead from the front and earn the respect. If you are a leader, a military leader, like my lieutenant, Greg J., I saw with my own two eyes the beauty and awesome power of a Marine Corps officer. If you're a civilian leader, I've seen them. They're very good too. Sherry, who is a very compassionate person and gets the mission done. If you're a squad leader, do your best. Watch this video. If you're a shift manager for any company, this is for you or if you're inspiring to be a Marine. This is awesome. You will learn our ethos. You will learn our values, our courage, and commitment. Now, for entertainment value, this is pretty awesome. It was gripping. It had me after combat scene, after combat scene, it was like, this is gonna end. It just keeps going. And it highlights what Kurt Lee did, or Major Kurt Lee did in the Korean War. Kurt Lee was born in San Francisco in 1926. His family immigrated from China. This is going to play a significant factor because he is going to be fighting Chinese in the Korean War. But you're going to see where his allegiance lies. His father inspired him with military literature and got young Lee to be interested in our armed services. This part makes me smile. Kurt Lee was in the recruiting office. The recruiting officer yells, who wants to join the Marines? He turns to his left, what are the Marines? And the fellow says, you don't want to join the Marines. They're the first ones to fight. They're the first ones to die. And Kurt Lee gave it a little bit of thought and stepped forward and history is made. I can relate to Major Lee because when I watched Full Metal Jacket with my uncle, I wanted to become a Marine. I eventually joined the Marines. In 1950, Lieutenant Lee was assigned to 17, 1st Battalion, 7th Marines, in a machine gun platoon. He was the first Asian American to receive the Navy Cross. His men think that he should have gotten the Medal of Honor, and I do too. When you watch this, you will understand why we feel this way. Let's paint the picture. General MacArthur wanted his senior leaders in units to move as fast as possible to the Chinese border. Chairman Mao saw this as a threat and started moving his troops around the mountains to do a pincer move in order to cut off and annihilate the 1st Marine Division and the supporting army units. Division Commander General Oliver P. Smith was a soft-spoken and cautious general. Without stretching his supply lines, he brought 1st Marine Division intact as a fighting unit to the Chosen Reservoir. To guard his supply line, 234 Marines from 2nd Battalion, 7th Marines guarded Tuktone Pass. This place was a choke point, where two mountain ranges meet and it had to be held by friendly forces. The newspapers back home already written 1st Marine Division and the other units as a captured or lost force. 8,000 Marines and Army personnel needed to go through this pass in order to get to South Korea. This is where Lieutenant Lee became a legend. Baker Company 1st Battalion 7th Marines were tasked to relieve 2nd Battalion 7th Marines in Tuktone Pass. To start with, Fox Company only had 234 Marines to hold this pass, and they were under attack relentlessly because the Chinese 
knew if they took this pass, they would be able to encircle 1st Marine Division. 500-man strong team went up there led by Lieutenant Lee. This would be an easy task if this was peacetime, but of course this was the Korean War. He led his men in the middle of the night in a blizzard. The temperature was negative 20 Fahrenheit. That's negative 29 Celsius. In the middle of combat with the enemy surrounding him. They finally made contact with the enemy. The enemy quickly pinned them down with the leadership of Kurt Lee. He was able to put them in a skirmish line and overwhelm the enemy with fire and maneuver. Further investigations were that the trenches were facing the wrong way, meaning that they attacked them from the rear. They never expected Lieutenant Kurt Lee to lead his men and attack them from that mountain pass. They were able to link up with Fox Company and they were able to let those 8,000 service members go through that pass. When I watched this, I asked myself, could I be as heroic as Lieutenant Kurt Lee? To be honest with you, this episode has had me so mesmerized that I forgot I was a Marine. And I was thinking, man, I want to join that organization. And this is 15 years after, and I already did it. In small parts, I did accomplish what Kurt Lee, Lee did in one day. Every Marine has to go through land nav. The nighttime land nav is actually easier because you can count your steps and not worry about the terrain as much. I've been through cold weather training. I've also been in a blizzard just on purpose in our vacations, to be honest with you. I was also assigned to a machine gun section, which is awesome. I have also received my combat action. As you can see here, I am in that dirt cloud. This is probably the first time I've got my baptism by fire. That is my Fox company, the guys who are extracting themselves from the truck. And that Humvee is actually my section, my platoon. And in that mess, that's me in that mess right there. They bracketed us as soon as we got through the breach. So Kurt Lee actually did all of this at one time. That's why I think he deserves the Medal of Honor. So for this Veterans Day, if they're wearing a hat, please thank them. And if they give you a smile, if they acknowledge you in a positive way, ask that person what they did. And then do me a favor. I want you to listen to them. And keep your mouth shut. Just listen to them. If they're from the 101st, 82nd Airborne, 10th Mountain, 10th Mountain Division, 1st Marine Division, 2nd Marine Division, if they're a raider, those guys don't need you to tell them about their unit. They lived it, their history. They're the ones who wrote that with their actions. So let them tell the story. I'm going to tell you that you're gonna learn something that's gonna either save you in combat or help you out in life. So for this Veterans Day, if your name is Ryan, Connolly, Dustin, Tom, Phil, and all the other million service members that are veterans out there, Happy Veterans Day, and for those Marines, Simplify.